So today we will discuss about the mechanism of vernalizations. So in this, there are several theories and the hypotheses uh, have been put forth to explain the mechanism of the action of the vernalizations. The first that is the phasic uh, development theory, which was discovered by the Lansko in 1928. So according to this theory, so he proposed the basic theory to explain the mechanism of vernalizations. So according to him, growth and development are the two important phases uh, in the life of each and every plants. So development is not necessary uh, a consequence of growth, but the length of vegetative period of growth of a plant is not fixed and can be altered. So the development of an annual plant must take place in the series of phases or stages which must proceed in uh, definite sequences the first stage or we can the phase is a thermo stage this is also referred to as a lansko state of vernalizations exposure to uh, low temperature that is about 1 to 20 degrees celsius the moisture and aerations are necessary for proper completion of this stage the next stage that is a photo stage. Uh, so after having completed thermo stage, plants proceed to a photo stage in which continuous light or we can say photo inductions and medium temperature provides the optimum conditions. Uh, so after photo stage then comes the third stage that is uh, necessary for the formation of uh, sex organs or the reproduction of the flowering stage. Then the next mechanism that is a thermal, sorry, hormonal theory. So the first that is a Mackler in 1936 performed an experiment of uh, grafting of vernalized plant with uh, unvernalized one. He observed the flowering. So this clearly indicates that some type of hormone is synthesized in vernalized plant which is translocated to next through grafting or we can say union of them and resulted into flowering. So on the basis of this experiment Lank and Mackler in 1966 uh, postulated the presence of flowering hormone as a vernally one type of hormone is there. So they reported uh, that there is direct connection between vernally and the flow region ones. So this is a diagram you can see it. So the uh, following schemes we can see gives idea regarding the mechanisms of the vernalizations. That is a low temperature, then thermo induction conditions, then vernalines form, then the flow region, and then the last one is the flowering formation is formed. Then again the Lang and Mackler in 1966 they proposed hormonal theory. That is the vernalization involves the formation of floral hormone called as a vernalin. As a part, uh, as per we can say, uh, according to the scientist uh, Lang and Macklers, a pre precursor A is converted in the picture. You can say a precursor A is converted into a thermo liable compound B during the cold treatment. Under normal temperature, B changes into a stable C that is a vernalin. Okay, so. Uh, which causes flowering but at high temperature B is converted into D and flowering does not take place due to devernalization. So next uh, that is the uh, Chalkian that is 1968 when another scientist objected to Lang proposals objections were given again that Lang's uh, proposal because under long day conditions vernalin turns into Gibberlins. Okay, so this vernalin is thus a precursor of gibberlins for the preparation. So the vernalin is a doubtful hormone since uh, it seems to move only with dividing cells. On the other hand, on the other hand, uh, ureteral acid and other pyrimidine bases can replace vernalis. So these are the some conditions or the various scientists has worked on this for the vernalization conditions. So thank you very much.